no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Our first question. When I look into your eyes, what would you want me to see in them? <laughs> um, hmm. Our relationship. I would want you to see me, my personality. What about your personality? Uh, like, I like fashion. I care a lot for people. Yes, you Sometimes do. Sometimes too much. <laughs> <laughs> and I like fun. You like having fun? You sure do. I would want you to know when I'm not feeling well or when I want to talk about something specific. Uh, because sometimes I kind of need that push that uh, when you tell me, I, I know you're not okay, talk to me, you know? Okay, so I can ask that, because you know, yes, some people that. don't like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want you to see that you can trust me. You know? Um, that's a really big thing in our relationship, is trust. I know that was something that we both kind of struggled with. But I definitely want you to look at me and see, like, yeah, like she is here for me. That's my girl. I think when you look in my eyes, I, I want you to know, or I want you to see that, I don't want you to see the hurt that I've experienced, but I want you to know that I've experienced something. But most importantly, like the love and the support, and that I'm, I'm here no matter what, and that you don't have to second guess, or, you know, you just don't have to second guess that I'm always here for you. That's, that's, that's what I want you to see. I want you to see security in me. I want you to just, just look at me and see that. I, I definitely feel that. So that's how I feel about it. And I feel the same way. That's the same thing that I want. So. Okay. That's, that's, that's awesome to hear. <laughs> how amazing and beautiful I think that you are and how much I adore you. What is one experience you wish we never shared? <laughs> it's a given. Read, read the room. <laughs> um, yeah. I guess it's the moment of the explosion, the day yeah. August 4th. Yeah. Uh, I honestly do not remember anything. The only thing I remember is being on the ground. You, falling on the yeah. ground. Yeah. Yeah. Shots all over. And the next thing he... I is seeing blood. Me and you sitting in a pile of our own blood with and glass, glass inside the yeah. door. Inside the, the balcony door. <laughs> yeah. And then, like, having to get out of the glass and saving ourselves from the glass and thinking there's another explosion going to happen because we did not know what, what it was. And another bomb. This, yeah, because um, we thought it was, we did not know it was just going to be a, a stupid It's not explosion. an accident. Yeah. I don't know what it was. That's the thing. We don't know how it happened. We still have a lot of questions. and Yeah, and nothing is, has been answered. If you could give me anything in the world, what would it be and why? In the world. I don't know. I picture like some kind of like ball of light and just... Um, Maybe just the peace again. I think the peace that I, I have, like that I feel a lot that helped me get through situations that I didn't think I would get through, including like having um, like self-destructive thoughts when I was like a freshman or sophomore, whenever in high school, um, coming out of dark stages. Yeah, just like that peace again, which comes from that relationship that I have with God that um, really just got me through it. And 
it just matured me and I think it helped me to just see things differently and to not hold grudges to not um resent people for it like I forgive all of those people like if I saw them today I might still feel like you know that kind of troubling sensation um in my like soul a little bit but I think I would still you know be respectful of them of course and um honestly like just hope that they're doing well even suicide is less controversial than black people identifying with being black um or, or having a a pride in in who they are or who they come from or that sort of thing if we don't start seriously teaching our children about our history and our culture then it's just as if we don't we haven't existed um i want you to pass on we existed before slavery um i'm going to do the dna and i, I want that whole history to go forward i want you know, long after I'm gone, if you have a baby, I want you to tell your baby about who I was and how I lived. And, um, you know, that I try to do the right thing and that there's some honor there. I would want you to know that all of the things about yourself that you may not like, they're everything I've ever wanted in my life in a partner. You did this right. You did nothing wrong. You made me the happiest. I could have ever been. And then my biggest regret is just not having more time with you. Yeah. I don't feel like I can trust you to really have my back if things got really rough. And um, and that's just because I think when you get too overwhelmed, you shut down a lot. So I don't know if you would be able to handle when things really get rocky in my life. when I ask you what you need, I feel like you are the one that tends to shut down. We're not in a place that I know what you need without you saying it. And I feel like you treat me as though I should know. So that definitely makes me very insecure. I can't, I will never be trusted. I will always be doubted. And there's a lack of faith in my own abilities to hold my own in this world and hold my own in this relationship. What is the pain in me? I think it said you wish you could heal. What is the pain in me you wish you could heal? from your different things you had going on from your childhood on, I wish I could heal the pain of you not, your voice not being heard. You feeling yeah. like you, you not being heard. Yeah. And, and, and so that's, that's the pain I wish I could heal in you. Cause I know that that causes you a lot of stress and a lot of pain and, uh, you know, and a lot of different things, you know, just, I mean, I definitely understand when you're not heard, and you feel like you're not heard, it could be tough. So that would be. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to tear up, but okay. <laughs> Thank you, babe. It's all good, babe. You know. What are you hesitant to ask mommy? I'm getting hesitated right now. Am I like a mistake? You didn't mean for it to happen. But it Are you a mistake? Like it's a mistake, but you're happy it happened. One, you ain't never been a mistake. Don't let anybody ever, ever, 
ever, ever, ever, ever, ever, ever, ever tell you your mistake. No, I'm, I'm basically saying, like, you, you didn't, you wanted to have a child, but not at that exact time. Got it. Okay. So, when I was your dad's girlfriend? Mm -hmm. No, I did not want to have kids at that time, but... At the same time, I always, I'll call it a feeling. It's just a sense of, I knew that if mommy, I take responsibility for my actions. So I knew that if I, when I was with your dad, if if I did get pregnant, I knew that I would have you. There was never... The moment I found out I was pregnant, yes, it was, I was in shock. Cause it's like, whoa, this really happened to me? Whoa, whoa, whoa. But there was never ever a moment where I felt like you were a mistake. And I appreciate you asking me that question because that took a lot of courage. Don't you think? That's so cool that you asked me that. I never ever thought that. I never even thought that you were thinking that. Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Mimi at The Skin Deep. If you want to be a part of our community, if you want to join our movement, you can subscribe to our newsletter at theskindeep.com slash subscribe. Thank you so much.